Hi guys, welcome to another video. As you've seen on one of our previous videos, we were testing different manufacturing procedures of latex. One being the dipped procedure, the other being extruded. Today we're going to test for its loss over time. The specific manufacturer we use, we felt has the best loss over time. In other words, the least loss. This can change over the years. So we regularly test it. We've always found our supplier to have the best rubber that we like to use. It's not about cost, it's about performance. Those of you who are in cold climates might also be aware that you can have a loss due to water temperature. The colder the water, the slower the rubber is going to perform. It definitely loses its elastic impulse. So up here, we're going to stretch the bands to about 400%. So they're all being cut to 10 centimeters. We're going to stretch it out to 40. Our travel here is not quite right. So I'm going to pre-stretch it as I set it up. Then we're going to see the loss of power over time. I was about to set up one of the extruded ones and even the tying of the knot has degraded it. So we've made a second one. This specific one was given to someone else to test. They didn't like it. That's how I got the sample. The quality is very poor. This doesn't mean all extruded is bad. We will be testing some other extruded stuff in the future. And if anybody's got any they want us to test, please supply. I have no problem even switching over to extruded if it is a better rubber. So today we're going to be testing three different suppliers of the dip type and one of this extruded. Let's see how it goes. Hi guys, that what you've just seen was a video we did a few weeks back. I've been debating whether to put this up or not because there were so many variables we had over the time we took to do it. Each and every short clip you've seen took us over an hour. We did 30 plus hours of filming. Because of that, there was a variation in temperatures. We did it over a few days. So I did have variations in the results. So our conclusion is that dip rubber is definitely superior to that of extruded. There is a price factor, you've got to take that into account, but if you want the best possible propulsion, definitely the dip rubber is better. So please like and subscribe, make comments below if you want us to do any other tests, we'll endeavor to do as much as we can within reason. Hope you enjoyed that. Stand by for the next one.